We left our bikes in Yuanyang town at a hotel and we took a taxi up the mountain to explore the Yuanyang rice terraces, something that had been on my China list for a long time now. And I'm super, super excited that we got to do it because it was amazing. Yeah, it's only, I don't know, 150, 200 kilometers from the Sapa rice terraces mm -hmm. in Vietnam. And, there's, and the Yuanyang ones are bigger and better. To get to the Yuanyang rice terraces, you actually have to first take a taxi up to a town called Xinjia, which is referred to as the gateway to the rice terraces because it's the closest town to where all the actual terraces are. And then once your taxi drops you off in Xinjia, you have to walk to the bus station and in front of the bus station there will be like a bunch of minivans waiting. Basically all you have to do is get in a minivan and tell the driver which part of the three different parts of the rice terraces you want to go to or that you're booked at a hotel staying at. So make sure you have that looked up beforehand. That's very important because the three different sections of the rice terraces are not close to one another. They are not walkable. Oh, well, they are walkable if you want to like hike all day. But if you don't want to hike all day, then you would have to take a van or a taxi between them. So make sure you look that up, that's super important. We stayed in Doishu, which is the largest section of the rice terraces. I would highly recommend. It was absolutely amazing. Swim, doggy doggy, swim. We just literally walked right down the rice terraces from where we're staying to check out this gorgeous, gorgeous view that's behind us. And <laughs> there it is. Yeah. And now we're gonna go ahead to find some other free viewpoint, possibly to see sunset. Not really sure, but we're gonna go see what we can find. Maybe not. We're not on the right side of the mountain, so we'll see sunrise here, anyways. Yeah. Hopefully, sunrise tomorrow will be epic. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Hello, piggy piggy. Hey, Mama Piggy. What's up? How's it going? For a fun dose of reality, if I stand this way, there's a gorgeous view behind me. But if we turn around, there's tons and tons of trash. See that the, the trash? All that? Yeah, that's that's trash that the locals just dumped. Beautiful views and trash. Their waste disposal here clearly needs some work.
windy, but it sure is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's super nice down here. We came a long ways down the rice terraces. I don't think many tourists make it down here. We haven't seen but one other tourist since we came out exploring in these rice terraces. So, I mean, it's amazing and it's huge, like way bigger than the Guilin ones, I think. Yeah, and the farther down we go, the better the views get. It just keeps getting better. Like, how is that even possible? How is this place real, first of all? Second of all, can you imagine like, all of this was built by hand and is still farmed by hand. Like, how amazing is that? And so, it's still built by hand. Yeah, so mad respect for the locals that live here. I mean, we come here as tourists just to enjoy the beauty of this place, but they live a rough life, man. Like, we saw this one old lady and she's like, carrying this giant basket of hose that just looked so heavy and she was what did she say like Hale. like she's yeah. so tired very tired hiking up so back tired. up to the village <laughs> and i honestly like i just felt so bad like i really just wanted to help her but there's really no way we could help she was almost to the top by that point but man like woman power baby and most of the people we've seen out here are women like the farmers the farmers are women the ones building the terraces are men yeah i guess that's how they divide the labor but man it's amazing it's just incredible that they can even like make something to this scale Too hot to drink. How is it, honey? It's tasty. Is it delicious? It's good. So full, but that was so delicious. Coming from Vietnam and Laos, Chinese food seems so like amazing like if you had told me that i would be this excited to eat chinese food again a few months ago just when we left china i probably wouldn't have believed you but oh my god it's amazing all right it is 6 a.m it's early we are up and on a sunrise mission this morning Fingers crossed we get to see the sunrise over the rice terraces. Luckily we didn't have to walk very far because the place that we stayed was just like a five minutes walk from the terraces where you can see the sunrise. Let's go, I'm so excited. So we watched the sunrise here in uh, Yuanyang and we did it in the rice terraces. But as you can see behind me, there is the, uh, what's the name of it? Duoyishu, Duoyishu viewing platform. And that's where all the suckers sat to watch, watch the sunrise. And pretty much the same exact view we had. Way up there, that's them. And behind us, there's the sunrise. Beautiful. Somewhere back there. And there, there's Kara try, trying to get in the picture. It's so beautiful! <laughs> and we had it all to ourselves, which was the best part. Some helpful tips about this place while we're walking down the road. It's made up of three sections. Do Ishu, Bada, and La Hutzwe, they've built specific viewing platforms that are supposedly like the best views, but it costs 100 yuan per person to get into each of them. And there's actually tons of free viewing platforms. There's no entrance fee to get into like the scenic area itself, um, just for those three specific viewing platforms. But we've just been walking around to all these free ones and the views are amazing. You can also walk down to the actual terraces, just be respectful and keep on the trails, don't actually 
walk into the terraces. I'm not sure why you'd want to because they're just a muddy, wet mess anyway. Speaking of free views, check this one out.